Hi guys, welcome to my channel. How are y'all doing today? So here today on Abby the Witch, we are actually going to be unboxing the Witch's Moon for December or Yule. Let me know down below if you get the Witch's Moon. I know they have other tiers like the Witch's Roots and I always forget the other one that they have. <laughs> I love the Witch's Moon. This is my favorite one that they offer. So let's go ahead and just open this bad boy up. What do they have this month? Okay. See, they always have a tarot card. Let your emotions flow. Oh my gosh, yes, that's so accurate. <laughs> if you watch my last video, I did a tarot spread and I um, basically was told I need to like let my emotions be, just let them flow through me. So yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a pamphlet explaining everything that comes in the box. So I'll read that after. Always get an incantation. Ooh, Yule themes. Remembered and reborn. Within the shadows of the long night, deep within my rites, I find comfort upon the candlelight. O oh, goddess, I am so grateful for the blessings given. I am so honored to have gained so much. For within these dark months, my spirit and practice have forever been touched. Within my shadows, I have found that strength and perseverance are abound. And with each step of clear sight, I stand unbothered and full of might. As we soon celebrate the light reborn, we honor, remember, and adorn. We shed our pain, our hurt, our angst, and walk upon the foundation laid. Within the shadows of the long night, deep within my rites, I find comfort upon the candlelight. Blessed be. Oh, yes. Yule time is for, you know, getting ready for the light to come back. And if you are Wiccan, you know that it's like the sun god has been reborn. Or it's just kind of like a pagan thing, I guess. I, I feel like it's just pagan. I mean, you don't have to be Wiccan to believe that. Tassiamancy? Tassiamancy? I'm sorry if I'm explaining that wrong. Here's a history. Um, Tassiamancy is a divination or fortune telling method which interprets patterns in tea leaves, coffee grounds, or wine sediments. Oh, okay. Now I know the name of it. <laughs> I did not know it had a particular name. Very cool. Beautiful artwork as always. A Yule Blessing. Oh, okay. Magic cup, a dark brewed tea, a sacred oil, a candlelight, and herbal salt to draw the vault. I think this is a little like Yule ritual of the tass tassomancy, of reading the tea leaves. It also has little um, mantras. I am grateful to exist. I am grateful to be part of the whole. So this time of year is a good time of year to remember what you're grateful for just because the days are so much shorter and it's darker and it's easy for people to get sad. <laughs> remembering that light, remembering what you're grateful for is um, really good this time of year. Beautiful artwork, of course. All right, ooh, we got a pretty box of something. Okay, Winter's Prophecy, Herbal Tea Blend. I always smell it, give it a good sniff. Oh my, my, my. That is spicy. Very uh, Christmassy, old time smell, or scented, for sure. Let's see, Mulling Spices. Oh, another tea. I got two teas this time. Oh yeah, another very spicy one. This one has a little bit, a little bit of apple. It's small. Smell some apple and some cinnamon. Very Yule. Let's see. 
Got some golden bow, just an herbal blend, probably for, yeah, for your herbal cabinet. Doing some green magic. Mm, that smells good. Just kind of earthy. Golden bow, never heard of that one. Leave it to the witch's moon to give me herbs I've never heard of. <laughs> oh, little tea bag. oil. So far, I've not had to use my athame, athame, however you say it. Yule, of course. Let's see how this smells. Oh, hell yeah. Very uh, piney. If you don't like the smell of pine, you won't like this oil this month. But I love the smell of pine. Anything like mint or pine or evergreen or whatever. Like I, I love those smells. Got some herbs floating around in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm, yes, I will be using that for sure. Oh, sorry, hit the camera. Okay, of course we got our sacred salts, winter blessings. Ooh, that smells very interesting. It almost smells like spearmint mixed with like spices. Winter blessings. Okay. Uh, we got our Yule candle. Looks like it's green this month. Very pretty green color. Of course, made out of beeswax, world beeswax. And let's move on to the very last thing, which is like the big, big daddy. Very pretty box. I will definitely be keeping this. Oh my God. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. It's for reading, like doing tea reading, tea leaf reading. What was it called? Tessamancy? Tass Tessamancy? Again, I, I never have heard that word. I didn't know it was called anything. It makes me feel kind of silly, but whatever. Um, it looks like artwork talking about Tessamancy has all the different symbols. Of course, some of them we already know, right? Like a lot of them are the um, astro astrological signs. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to look more into this because I've never, I mean, it's just a really pretty cup, if anything. <laughs> it comes with a little spoon too. Very nice. Very pretty. It's a snake. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. I wonder if this comes out. It oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more, guys. Little platter to put it on. That looks like a sigil. Some black serpents going around. Some kind of sigil. I don't know. I'll have to read more about it. But yeah, that's some kind of sigil. Wow, that's very cool. Very beautiful. See what it looks like. Yes. If anything, I can just have some fancy tea in this. <laughs> see if this comes out. Nope, that doesn't come out, that's okay. Um, if you don't already know, I have an Etsy shop and I reuse all of my packaging. So, or even just for like sending gifts to people for this time of year, or whatever, birthdays. I, this is, oh my God, I'm so happy about this. I might honestly just keep this one for myself because it's so pretty. <laughs> For storage and stuff, but um, definitely keeping this. I always reuse my Witch's Moon box. I reuse the packaging it comes in. I reuse everything. So, all right, guys. Well, that is it for this month's The Witch's Moon unboxing. I was going to go live for this, but I don't know. I just decided not to. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood to be on the spotlight today, so... I rarely am. But anyway, 
I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Again, let me know if you get the Witch's Moon or any of the other boxes. I am always curious to know. And that's all I really have for you guys today. So until next time, I hope you stay very well. Thank you. Bye.